These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm. Or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you. So we have a single photon that breaks apart into two separate photons. Is that what they said? Yeah. A single photon at 400 nanometers splits in two. One at 1200 nanometers, the other at lambda. What is lambda would, in nanometers? You would use E equals um, H, what's the constant? HV. Yeah. H, H nu. Right. And then you would just add, well, you would subtract um, whatever you got for the smaller photon from the bigger one, and that would be. Yeah. So the point is, we use conservation of energy. This photon has a certain amount of energy, and when it splits in two, that energy splits between these two photons. So, however, um, if you add the energy of here to the energy of here, you should get the original amount of energy. So, could we do it out? Sure, let's do that. So, what's the first calculation we need to do? We need to get the energy of the 400 nanometer. Yeah, so let's do that calculation. What calculation would that come So, you need to convert nanometers to meters. Right. Um, so, how would we do that? Divide by 10 to the 9. Um, and then, and that gives us um, four times ten to the minus seven. Good. That's a good first step. And then you would do. Um, then you convert this to a frequency. Let's do that. C, yeah. C equals lambda nu. Right. And then. So, nu equals c over lambda to the So, 7.5 times 10 to the 14. Good. And then you would multiply that times Planck's constant. Good. So the energy is 4.97 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Is that right? Right. It's 4.97 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. So we figured out how much energy the photon had originally. Good. Okay, so now when you find the energy for the 1200, right. and you subtract that from That's right. 4.97 times 10 to the negative 19. That's right. Okay, got it. And then, and then you, would, um, you would get that energy, and then you would need to find frequency, and right. then find frequency, and then get wavelength. That's right. So that's the pattern that you're, um, we're always going through um, in this course when we know So here's the little flowchart that you're going to be using all the time on the exam. You have to go back and forth between lambda and nu using this equation, c equals lambda nu, and then go back and forth between nu and energy using this equation, energy is Planck's constant times nu. Is the e into e h nu also ever kinetic? This represents the, the total e amount of energy of the that's uh, photon. E photon. Yeah, that we, we'll just think of that as the and total amount of energy of the photon. In in the e kinetic equals h nu minus the work function. That's the, the that's the um, the kinetic energy of the electron right. is equal to the energy of the photon minus its work function. Yes, okay. that's right. Okay. That's right.